Okay, now I'm about to record a new video about a Chrome extension that I discovered. Now this extension solves a huge problem for me while browsing the web with a Chrome browser and it might solve your problems as well. Well, maybe not all of them, but it might benefit you anyway. So keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. So today we're going to talk about a Chrome extension called Workona. And Workona is going to change your life. Too much? So here's the problem. And we all do this to some degree. So we start browsing the web, so we open a browser tab, we start searching, and for some reason at some point we need to open a second browser tab. And then another one. And another one and another one. And before you know it, we have so many browser tabs open, we lose oversight. It's chaos. And that is exactly why we've invented tab managers. Now I say we, obviously I haven't invented anything. Now I've tried a lot of tab managers and some are pretty good, I have to say, but I've never really found one that even came close to how I imagined a good tab manager should look like. Until Workona. Now as they say on their website, Workona is a better way to work in Chrome. Now it's good to know that it's also been made available in Firefox, so you can also use it in Firefox. Um, but before you can use it, obviously you need to add it to Chrome or Firefox, but in this case Chrome. So add it to Chrome, then create an account, log in, and once you've done that, it's kind of going to look like this. Now notice that Workona has opened a tab for itself, and that tab is going to be there forever or at least for as long as you're using Workona. So how does it work? Well, Workona works with workspaces. So for example, let's say that we want to plan a trip to London, uh, unless we're already in London, because then it wouldn't really make sense, would it? Okay, now let's create a new workspace like this, and let's call it London. Seems appropriate. Now, as you can see, London is now highlighted, which means that we are now kind of in that workspace. So now we can just start browsing. So let's open another, a, a new tab and let's search for London. All right, let's open another tab and just search for london.com. All right, uh, let's try something else. Let's try london.org. Does it exist? Yes. Okay. It refers to londontown.com. Did not know that. Anyway, let's go back to Workona. And as you can see here, in this space right here, here you can see a list of all the tabs that are open. But now, in the middle of researching London, I remember I also need a new couch. So I want to search for couches without messing up this London thing we've got going on here. Now one thing we could do, and many people do, is just to open a new browser window and just start searching for couches there. Now, it is a solution in a way, but I would argue that, at least for me, eventually I would still run into the same problem. Namely, that at one point I will have so many windows open that I will lose track and possibly also my mind. Now, a better solution, or at least in my opinion, would be to use Workona and simply create a new workspace. So let's call this one couch and let's start searching. Let's search for couch and voila. And at any moment we can return to Workona and return to the London workspace. And here you can see all the tabs exactly how I left them. So that's kind of the basic idea behind it. And I've been able to do kind of the same thing with other tab managers as well. But Workona takes it a step further. So for example, let's say that we have a blog or a vlog or whatever um, about news. So news stories. Um, and it's in different categories. Now, before we want to make a blog post or a vlog post, obviously we need to do some research. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a new workspace um, and I've opened just a few uh, news websites. So we have ESPN, BBC Home, Euronews, CNN, Al Jazeera, Tech Radar, etc. All right? Now, Again, before we want to make a blog post or vlog post, we need to do some research and we can do the research just like this, no problem. But there is a way that can make it a bit easier for us. 
So for example, ESPN. Now obviously ESPN aimed at sports news. And let's say that whenever we wanna do a post about sports, ESPN is definitely one of the sites that we always check. Okay, what we can do is we can make um, ESPN into a resource. We can add it as a resource, just like this. Done. And now, as you can see to the right, ESPN is now a resource, which means that whatever happens to this active tab right here, I can even remove this tab, I can still always access ESPN from here because it is a resource. Okay, so a resource is kind of like a bookmark. Um, okay, let's bring it up. Um, so it's kind of like a bookmark. It will always be there. Now, the same goes for BBC Sports. Let's add it as a resource. Boom, there it is. Okay, now let's take a look at something like Tech Radar. Now, Tech Radar obviously doesn't have anything to do with sports. Tech Radar is about tech news. But it is a website that we always check before we want to make a blog post story about tech news. So obviously we also want to add this as a resource. But hold on, let's first take a look at the resources we have so far. We have two resources, both about sports. Now, sports and tech don't always go hand in hand, do they? Now the nice thing about resources is that we can arrange them in blocks. So what we're looking at is actually a block. We can rename it, let's rename it sports. But we can also create another block. So let's do that and let's call this one tech. Okay, what we can do now is just drag tech radar over to this block and voila. And I think you get the idea now. Now that to me is, you know, I don't want to exaggerate, but it's awesome. You know, it's so extremely, extremely useful. And the great thing is this will also sync to any other computer you use for Kona on and log into, of course. So great stuff. Great stuff. Um, now there are some other things you can do with it as well. For example, you can collaborate with others. Uh, there are some other features as well. I'm not gonna go over everything. I think these are the most important features that I just showed you, or at least for me, this is how I use it. And I do absolutely use it all the time. Now there is one thing I need to say about this, and that is this. So let's go to the Workona website. And up here you can see pricing. So let's go to pricing. Now, if you look closely at this web page, it seems like they're introducing a pro version. It's coming soon. Um, so, you know, this implies that in the near future, there will be two versions of Workona. So a free version, which obviously is going to be free, but it will have some uh, limitations. So for example, we would only be able to uh, create up to 10 workspaces. But then there will also be a pro version uh, without any limitations and it would cost you six US dollars per month. Now, I've been using Workona for over a year, probably more than two years. Um, and this web page, this exact web page has been up for all that time as far as I can remember. So the announcement of a pro version coming soon started when I started using Workona two years ago. So I'm not completely sure um, what the future is going to hold for Workona in terms of different versions and there being a pro version or not. I just know that I've been using uh, Workona for two years. The only version there is, there, uh, there ever has been so far, which is the free version without any limitations. So what I'm saying is that you can use Workona for free uh, without any limitations, but keep in mind that they're announcing this. So it could well be that in the future, maybe the near future, they could change that and actually introduce a pro version and then limit the free version. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so that's about it for me, about Workona for now. I genuinely think it's one of the best, or at least one of the most useful Chrome extensions out there. So go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think about it, so leave a comment below. Um, for now, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna talk to you in the next video.